welcome to Villa Media Productions. Uh, I wanted to shoot this quick video on this uh, temporary cart that I made for my uh, table saw. Basically, it is a two by fours that the lower and the upper frame. I did it basically the dimensions are 24 by 24. And then just a platform here and back here I did these at, uh, I can't remember what length, I'll measure them in a second. So the reason why I did those is because I'm going to put this platform, hold on, I'm doing this with one hand. It's going to be my outfeed board. It's going to go right here. And let me show you how I'm going to assemble it. All right, I bought these brackets that I'm going to attach to the board and these fold. They fold down. So this is going to go here as such. And I'll show you. Hang on. Okay, these are going to go mounted here. And these fold down. You just squeeze this lever and push down, and they fold down. So over here and then they just fold so that way the shelf will be here folds down it's out of the way it's a simple frame let me uh let me take my measurements real quick okay the two by four the 31 inches and then the wheels are two inches and then uh the table itself is like uh, 13 inches. So overall is like, what is it? 35 inches, 36 inches. And that's it. So once I get the bracket on, I'll show you the finished product. All right, so uh, this is the table in this folded position. As you can see, it's compact and when I need well I'm gonna have to keep this up because as you can see this it wouldn't be uh, flush here so when I'm working and I gotta cut a piece of wood when I'm going this way this hits so lift the table up it locks in position with the brackets down below. I think those brackets cost like $14. Um, so now the bracket is maybe half inch, quarter of an inch below. So I can just take it all the way out. And that's it. It gives me plenty. Uh, small cart. And down below is where I put the bag. I'll get the bag now and put it on real quick for you. Hang on, let me get the bag on. All right, so this is the bag I put on. Only because my hose in my previous video, it doesn't fit that. So this is it. Let me stand back a little bit. Oh, my hand's in the way. So it's about a two foot three foot bag so that'll work usually when I cut wood I'm going to be out here anyway so it won't be too bad so this is the table and then it uh, folds in by just grabbing those little clamps I got to do that with two hands but hang on all right so then just squeeze the clamp and it closes with the bag in place it's not too bad I can probably close it a little more yeah it'll close down so that's it this is my temporary little setup um, I do have wood over here that I was gonna make the cart with but when you go to Lowe's and I got a, a eight-foot piece 
a eight foot sheet of plywood cut into 24 inch sections. They use a stop block, but each piece of wood is actually a different size. One's like 24 and a half, one's 24 and a quarter, one's 24 and an eighth, and then the last one's like 23 inches and change. So I got that table saw, so when I do get these uh, cuts, I can get more precise cuts with this uh, table saw. So that's it. That's my little temporary. Um, now that I have it hooked up, I might go ahead and make my table with that. And uh, but I do like that simple setup. I'm not like a uh, cabinet maker or do tons of woodworking, so that's definitely going to be plenty. And I haven't even checked to see if I can put it up to the tailgate of my vehicle and use that also as an extra. So let me roll it over here and let me take a peek. Let's take a look and see. Huh? You know what? It might fit just perfectly. So how about that? Look at that. So I can use the tailgate of my truck to extend. All right, so that's perfect. And that's it. This is how close it gets to basically just like a millimeter of gap. And I did put these little feet in. I just glued them down. I'll nail them in as if I gotta take the top off and then I put it back, it'll be in the same exact spot. So that's it. That is my table saw cart. Thanks for watching.